all the while I have a bit of confused between Islam and Christianity, you know. Because I say, I say if Islam accepted uh, Mary, accepted Jesus as part of a prophet, then why does there is, uh, you know... Even, even in the Bible, you don't have a, a specific book mm. that called Mary. No. But in the Quran, you have chapter number 19, yeah. which is Mary. I, I also went through it. Yeah. I mean, basically, if we, if we were to really cross-reference back to the Bible, where he will say that there will come, okay, there will come another prophet, there will come another messengers, they will glorify me. Now, how do we glorify? Glorify doesn't mean that we worship Jesus or we worship Mary, but we glorify them in the sense that, you see, how Allah, the Creator, He put His name. And in fact, Jesus Christ, peace be upon Him, was mentioned more time in the Quran more than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. People say that the Quran was written by the Prophet Muhammad. Why don't he keep on writing write, write his, his own name? Why well, he want to write someone that come before him? Yeah. More than than himself. You know, if I were to write a book, I would, I mean, I would talk about myself, man. Correct. So it's basically is to glorify them, to tell them that, okay, this is the true story about who they are, what is their real mis missions on earth, okay, that uh, people misunderstood them. And when the Quran was revealed, it's basically to invite, to tell people that, hey, all of us, we know we have a creator. All the previous prophet that God has sent is previously, they are all Muslim. Uh, the meaning of Muslim means the one who submit. You submit your own view, your own desire to the creator. You follow his rule. Totally. Totally. Submission. Simple, Hong. Simple. If I'm having a gun, I point at you. I will submit. What, what, what do you do? Completely. What do you want to submit? Anything. Now, likewise, when we recognize there's a creator which is powerful, what do we do? Yeah, we submit. We submit because we know how powerful you are. One day we're going to die. Jesus, peace be upon him, in Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, he says, I by myself can do nothing. I hear and I judge, and my judgment is just, for I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who have sent me. A lot of people huh, do not realize that they're already a Muslim. I can prove to you. You know how someone already a Muslim, but they do not realize it? How? Now, example. Very interesting. A example. You see, remember what do I say about Muslim, the meaning of Muslim? Yes, yes. Just one who submit. Yes. Now, you have your heart, you have your lungs, you have your kidney, right? Mm. Now, what is the role of the heart? Is to pump blood. The role of the lung? Oxygens, right? Yes. Now, with the advancement of the technology that we have today, do you think that we can swap this, the lung and the heart, okay, the heart and the lung, we swap their role? Oh, no. Why? No, because this is, this is by God. This is created now, by God. Because God has already created ah. the heart for a specific purpose. Yeah. They already submit to the will, mm. to the creator, to the law of God. In terms of their body, the entire organ, everything, already a Muslim. But there's only one thing that has not become a Muslim, which is their whims and desire and their ego. Oh, okay. They already recognize, I know there is God, but because of my lifestyle, because I think there are certain things that I don't change, that, that can come slowly. Yeah. So I don't want to. Yeah. In the Quran, chapter number 45, Surah Ajazia, verse number 23, Allah says, have you not seen those who took their own whims and desire as their own gods. Remember, God is something that you worship, that you follow. Mm. But the moment this part where you already submit, you know that, okay, God will take care of everything. Yes. This life is a test. That's why you can see that even in Japan, uh, one of the uh, uh, technological advanced country in the world. But why they have such a high suicide rate in the world? Oh. And we, we put it to the contrast, huh, Hong? You know what happened in Japan, right? Yes. Okay. They have been under bombardment, they have been under oppression for the past 70 over years. Yes. But have you seen any one of them kill themselves, commit suicide? Because they don't have enough food. No, why? The will. Yeah, the will, will. The will because will. they know. Okay. Yeah. This is the test from God for us to be here. Yeah. As simple as that. In the West right now, there's a lot and lots of people, they took up the Quran, they read the Quran, and then eventually they become a Muslim. Because why? It's like mind-boggling for them. How this group of people who are day in, day out for generations after generations, they've been bombarded, being oppressed, but they still remain steadfast. I always believe uh, the, the 
Islam and the Christianity, there are many similarities in terms yes. of uh, the Bible and the Quran. Yes. In fact, the name also almost, I see, this could be, you know, just that two group of people having the same God, having the same God, but in a different language version. Let me tell you the evolutions, how, how it began. Now, if you were to say, what is the religion of Adam? No, I, I do not. It was not mentioned in the Bible. No, no, it wasn't mentioned. No, but it was mentioned in the Quran. He's the first creation. He's the first creation, he's a Muslim. Allah created him. Mm. Now, during this time, Adam was here. Now, who did Adam worship? He worshiped God. The one not. Did he worship Trinity? No. No, because there's no such thing as Trinity. No, not yet. Then, we come to Ibrahim. Ah. Abraham. Ah. Okay? Now, what religion was Abraham? Now, in the Quran, in uh, Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 67, Allah says that verily Ibrahim was not a Jew, or neither he's a Christian, but he's a Hanif, meaning he's on the straight path. He's a Muslim. Why? Because if let's say people say he's a Christian, Ibrahim was a Christian. Now, let's look into here. Where is Jesus? Here. How can. Uh. You, it's like as saying, you know, my great 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 grandfather uh, follow uh, my religion. Yeah, yeah, correct. But I haven't born yet, man. Yeah, I haven't born yet, correct, correct. correct. It doesn't make sense. Eh? Well, you see, a lot of people have a misunderstanding. They thought that uh, Islam was founded by Prophet Muhammad. No! You see, let's look into an example Hinduism. Uh. Now, Hinduism, where do they get the name? It's based on the Hindus Valley in India. Mm -hmm. Now, it's based on a geography. Buddhism, it's based on Siddhartha Gautama Buddha, mm -hmm. the what the enlightened one, right? Mm -hmm. Now, then you talk about Christianity. Christianity, meaning coming from Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ, but Christ was coming from Greek, Christos. Right. But Jesus didn't speak Greek. Yes. Yeah, that's true. But you see, even, even people say, but, but you know, there, there's other scriptures uh, exist today. I believe, I understand that. I have no problem. Even the original scriptures, the Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, yeah. okay, the original, if still exist today, do we still follow that? No, we say supersede by the, light, like the latest yeah. one. Correct. We follow the, 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 the latest and the last and the final. Hmm. The latest and the final, yeah. In parliament, last time we have different law. Mm. You are not wearing seatbelt, no problem. Mm. Now, not wearing seatbelt, 300 bucks fly. Yeah, correct. So, can you, the say, can you say I'm following the old law? You can't say, you'll yeah. be fine. Did this, all this information that I share with you, I, I didn't know that. You didn't know that, right? I did. Now I get a new perspective. Because Islam can give you the complete answer about your origin, about our origin, about, okay, if let's say we believe there's only one God, why so many religions? Mm. Actually, it's not. When you look back into the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 213, last time, human being, we are one nation, we are one religion. Yeah. And then divided, and then God keep on sending prophets and messengers to call them back to Islam. That's, that's the purpose. Yeah. Now, when the religion has been changed, when the original have, scripture has been changed, what do we do? Then God sent another uh, prophet and messenger yes. to call people to remind them. Mm. What we say now is that basically, one God, one religion, many prophets. So for today, it's mm. only the last and final testament. Mm. Because Quran was the only scriptures that where God gave the warranty, the guarantee. In Surah Al-Hijri, uh, chapter 15, verse number 9. Okay? Inna nanu nazaran zikro wa inna laku hafizun. Meaning that we are the one who reveal and send down these scriptures and we are the one who will protect it until the end of time. Until the end of time. Now, if you go to a, to a shop to buy a new phone, you will ask, got warranty? Ah? You, go, you go to, the, to, to buy a new car. Now, all the, all the car manufacturer, they keep on giving you, okay, okay, if you buy now, we give you five years warranty or 150,000 kilometers, uh, which comes first. But no lifetime. Uh, but no lifetime. <laughs> uh. Why the warranty is so important? Peace of mind. To give you peace of mind that, Hong, the moment you know that you are Muslim, you do your best, they are, we are human beings, we are weakness, we have weakness. Yes. You do your part, you do your best. Uh. You do not worship other than Allah Himself. Uh. Okay. You have a peace of mind that, okay. Allah will take care of me after you yourself have read the Quran and the Bible and do the comparative yeah. and read the explanations. Yeah. Is there any is there anything else that you feel that you dislike about the teaching of Islam? Exactly. And you have read about Prophet Muhammad as well. Yes. How what do you think about him? Is, is he truly a prophet? Can you accept him being a prophet? Actually I do. I you do. do. Because 
whatever uh, message that he gave from the God also has been part of the Old Testament, not the New Testament. Yep. The New Testament, a lot of, you know, cut, cut, Old yep. Testament. Yep. Yeah. After you have read the Bible and uh, saw our explanation, yeah. you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, literal, or just another prophet of God? Another prophet. Another prophet of God. Now, with what you say just now, yeah. do you know that you already have the belief of a Muslim? Yeah. Because it just explained from here and here and here. That yeah. is a very good explanation. Yeah. And you see? Be, you know, Hong, just now this you. One, this hierarchy is. Standard, you cannot change it. Yeah. It's like this. You can change history. You can change history. But you can make history. <laughs> <laughs> so with all the belief that you already have, so what, what really stopped you, Hong, from being a Muslim today? Nothing. 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 Now, would you like me to guide, to help, to assist you? I will do it in Arabic, and then we'll do the translation, and then just testify that you are Muslim, and then that's it. And then you, you can come to our uh, center, and then we can keep in touch to register yourself and then we can teach you how to worship the God that you already believe in. Is that okay? Is that cool? Okay, great. Just this one, these are testimonies of faith. Okay, nobody force you? Yeah. Nobody force you? Did I force you? No. Are you taking any payment? No, no, no. Okay, we just... Willingly. Willingly, thank you. Okay, we just take the... We raise your index finger, okay? Okay, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. I bear witness there is no God worthy to be worshipped except Allah and I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is his last and final messenger. That's it.